congratulations. You're going to host the Golden Globes. It's going to be so much fun. I'm excited about this. It's this, yeah, the Golden fun. Globes. I like it because it, it's like a, a, a mixtape of award shows because you have it's the best of movies and it's the best of TV shows and the best of music. So if you haven't seen that movie, you, you don't have to worry because something from Walking Dead will come on soon. Yeah. Oh, I know that. You know, at least. So it's, it's going to be fun and we have a really fun opening. I don't want to. So any spoilers, but but it sounds good. You just told me what it is. It's gonna be funny. A lot of cameos yeah. and yeah. There's a lot of drinking. It that's the difference between that award show. Like everyone usually in that room is drunk. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Even <laughs> even people that don't drink. Yeah, it just happens. Yeah. And you you hosted the Emmys before and. Uh, yeah, I love that. That yeah. I I have I have an awards show memory that is one of my favorite things. This is it wasn't televised. I don't believe, but it's one year I got asked to give an award to Smokey Robinson. For, and I read the email, and it said uh, it was for UNICEF. So I go, oh great, I love UNICEF. So I go to the, I go to this event, and I didn't have a publicist or anyone with me. I just went by myself. I did the red carpet, and they're asking me, why are you here? And I go, oh, I'm giving an award to Smokey Robinson, you know. And I love everything UNICEF does. You know, I remember trick or treating as a kid and having a little cardboard box and putting, the, you put money into that instead of can't, you know. And they go, okay, yeah. I go to the next one, and the uh, next person, they ask me, why are you here? And I said, well, I love UNICEF. They do great stuff for children. And I remember trick-or-treating, and you put the money in the cardboard thing, and they go, OK. And uh, <laughs> I get into the award show, and I sit down. They take me to my seat, and I'm the only white person in the, the theater. <laughs> and so I'm looking around, I go, this is a little odd. And I realize it's uh, UNCF, <laughs> United Negro College Fund. It is not, <laughs> it has nothing to do with UNICEF at all. No. That's what they call it. They call it UNCF now. Uh -huh. And I read the email wrong. And I'm like, uh -huh. what is the honesty? But we did it. And I, 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 gave, I gave him the award. And uh, Smokey has probably done a lot of stuff for UNICEF uh -huh. as well. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. That's hilarious. I love that everyone just listened to you and just went, OK. Yeah, but these reporters were like, what is he talking about trick or treating? Yeah, what did he say? Yeah. Uh, yeah. That doesn't make any sense. But, but what the about worst. this award? Yeah, exactly. Uh, and you're getting there. How is this possible? You have your own ride at Universal. People are going to ride you? <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? That's what that means, yeah. Uh, no, this is. How do you have time to ride everyone? <laughs> I'm going to do it, man. I'm going to break, okay. break some records. Right. Yeah, come ride me. Uh, I'll be in Orlando. Uh, that should be the slogan. Uh, when I first got uh, Late Night, I was taking over uh, the show. And I said, well, I'm at NBC Universal. So I thought maybe I could do something at Universal Studios. I could be, uh, maybe there's a roller coaster I could think of. Like, um, you know that ride Soarin' uh, at Disneyland, where it's like you, you hang glide through California? I go, maybe something like that. I said, I'd do it in New York. And so anyways, I got to pitch these guys, the head of the theme park, my own ride. And so I, I was talking to like a video conference. And I, I told them the idea for my ride. And, and they were just kind of nodding. And they go, uh-huh. They go, yeah, I, no. No. Uh, but thank you. For, what's your name again? I was like, oh, Jimmy Fallon. They go, yeah, well, good luck uh, with your show. And if you ever need tickets to see Harry Potter or something, let us know. <laughs> you know like, and it was cut to uh, eight years later. And now I'm hosting The Tonight Show. They, they called me. And they said, do you remember calling us about this thing? I go, yeah. And they go, we want to make it. So we spent the last two and a half years making this Ride, it's a virtual reality like simulator. It's like you go into the tonight, tonight Show and then you race me in a go-kart through the streets of New York City. And it's insanely, yeah, that's how nerdy I am. That's not what the ride looks like. Um, but, but I had to do that all CJ like, and that's, yeah, that's, that's sped up, I think. Uh, but anyways, uh, you, you, you chase, you go through the subway, you stop at a pizzeria, you smell pizza, you go into the East River and you get wet. Uh, yeah, I know, it's silly as well, it's funny. Uh, you, you go. Yeah, I dressed as a young girl. Uh, I dressed as an ugly 15-year-old girl that goes, ow! <laughs> Anyways, it's the best ride in the world. 